Welcome to Premath. In this video, we are going to simplify this interesting radical problem, square root of 3 times the cube root of 9 times square root of 3 times cube root of 9 times square root of 3 times cube root of 9. And this goes on and on. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, radical expression and here I have copied it down. Now let me go ahead and set this uh, radical expression uh, equal to x. Then we can see that this part uh, is going to be x as well. So therefore our left hand side is going to become square root of 3 times the cube root of 9 times x equals to x on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and take a square on both sides. I'm going to take a square on this side as well. And now we can see this square and square root they undo each other. So we simply got on the left hand side 3 times the cube root of 9x equal to x square. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3. This 3 and 3 cancels out. So therefore we are ended up on the left hand side the cube root of 9x equals to x square divided by 3 on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and take a cube on both sides to undo this cube root. We are going to take a cube on the other side as well. And now we can see this cube and cube root they undo each other. So we got on the left hand side 9x equal to on the right hand side x power 2 and 3 we multiply them. So this is going to become x power 6 divided by 3 power 3 is same as 27. Now let me go ahead and make a fraction on the left hand side by just putting 1 underneath. And now we are going to cross multiply. So we are going to get x power 6 equal to on the right hand side we are going to 9 times 27 is 240. 3x. Now let's divide both sides by x and on x on this side as well. And here on the left hand side that's going to give us x power 5 equal to 243. And now x power 5 could be written as equal to 243 could be written as 3 power and now since the exponents are same, so therefore we conclude that x turns out to be equal to 3. Then we know that our x is this whole radical expression. So therefore this whole radical expression has been simplified to 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.